Most people think of National Geographic as the magazine guys, right? When I found out that I had an opportunity to work with them, I was just enthralled. They showed us that they weren't just the magazine guys, and they were producing tons of data to spread the word. Oracle and National Geographic have a long relationship going back quite a few years at this point. This year we had a fantastic opportunity to collaborate with National Geographic in co-developing a geo-inquiry class that we're piloting with Design Tech High School students. What we're using as the focus is the Belmont Slough wetland, which is the ecosystem that's right beside the new school facility that we're building for DTech here on the Oracle headquarters campus. We went out with uh, Shaw Selby, he's uh, one of the National Geographic explorers to be in the classroom with Shaw Selby is such an inspiration for them because he is a conservation technologist. And many of the students have gotten really excited about the way that they can apply the technical skills that they've been learning in Oracle Education Foundation workshops to real world applications around conserving the environment. So we're really working on testing the water quality specifically to find out how it may affect the surrounding wildlife. So working with Shaw, we had our sensor, which is some electronics and a solar panel mounted on a gas tank, and we dropped it into the slough, where it'll just float there and collect data. The water station, it's measuring things like pH and water temperature and salinity and you know very basic water chemistry um, parameters that we want to know to understand how that water is doing. And the other component that we put out was a weather station, and that's collecting air temperature, humidity, wind speed, wind direction, and rainfall. And that station also acts as a hub, so all the data that's being collected at the water buoy all the way out there is being beamed up using radio waves to the weather station. So the students can just walk over to the weather station, they can pull the SD card out of there, and it's got all the data that it's been collecting over time. We're going to use this information to make visuals for our presentations and our mock website that we're using right now to give people a sort of interactive way to learn about the SLU, about their impact and what they can do to minimize that impact. The coolest thing is designing products that affect um, an entire environment, an entire community. Um, a lot of the other classes we've been doing are just a, a set group of users, but this is everyone. This is everyone in this community can benefit from what we're doing. What I got from the interaction with Shaw would just be a deeper understanding of what it means to be an explorer and also what it takes. I think one of the main worries when people go into a class like this is they have to be really good at technology. They have to know about sensors and everything, but it's not about that. It's being able to just, uh, display your story and tell it in a meaningful way, and you can come from all different backgrounds and be able to do that.